Hey guys, just another quick pickup video. I got a whole shit ton of stuff. Look at it all, it's all over there. Anyways, uh, something non video game related. Um, I found a Pentax um, MG 35mm camera for $4, and um, it's in really good shape. And it was $4, and they go for about, I don't know, like 50 bucks. So maybe I'll tra trade that to somebody or sell it to them or whatever, but it's a really good find. But look, I'll take a picture of us. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, let's start at the very beginning, which is a very good place to start. Um, for the original Nintendo, I picked up Dragon Warrior for three dollars. I picked up Wheel of Fortune. I think it's just a normal one. Three dollars. I picked up California Games, which is a game I don't have, for three dollars. And I picked up Mario Brothers 3 for three dollars. So that's awesome. For the Super Nintendo, if I can get all of them. It's not like there's a million of them, but... Alrighty. I picked up... Mohawk and Headphone Jack. Never heard of this game, but it was only three dollars and ninety-five cents, so I couldn't pass that up. And I don't have it, so... Super Bowling, which also I didn't have. That was $4.95. And the last Super Nintendo game, I got Jurassic Park 2. Uh, the Chaos Continues for six ninety five, and I don't have that either. So, three games I don't have for the Super Nintendo, which is fantastic. For the Nintendo 64, I picked up Mario Kart 64, and that was $13. And I picked up, whoa, I picked up Vigilante 8. And that was six dollars. Well, well, I don't have that one. I have Mario Kart, obviously. Um, I guess around the same time, the Sega Saturn came out, so I picked up World Series Baseball '98, and that was two dollars and ninety-nine cents. And to me, it's worth it just for the case. Um, I understand that it's got a little bit of a rental marker on it, but hey, I don't give a shit. I don't have it. Um, what would be the next? I guess Xbox. Sure, why not? For the Xbox, I picked up Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, and that was two ninety nine. dollars um, I also picked up Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, which is actually a pretty hard game to find, and that was $3.99. Another hard game to find, even though it's a sports game, NHL Hits 2002, and that was $0.99. Cents. And a really hard game to find, Sniper Elite for $6.99. Uh, it goes about $25, $30. Bucks. Um, let's see. Oh, I got this. Luigi's Mansion. I was like, oh, awesome. Luigi's Mansion, only four bucks. And then when I opened it up in the store, there was no game. Someone stole it out of there. So I said, can I have the case? And they're like, yeah, I don't care. It's garbage. So I got that for free. Um, also for the GameCube, for five ninety nine, I picked up Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I also picked up a copy of Super Smash Bros. Melee for five ninety nine. Um, I have no idea if these things are worth anything. Uh, interactive multi-game demo disc for display only, not for resale. Mm. I don't know. There's, if the display includes a timer set to infinite, press whatever. Place into a game to demo disc, print the side up into the disc, whatever. Um, I'm not sure what the hell this is, but it was $3. This is version 32. Sorry, that says version 32 and that says version 23. Whatever, it's three bucks. Maybe it's worth millions. I have no idea what the fuck it is. And by far, the rarest thing I got today is Codebreaker for the PlayStation 2. Um, I got this for $9.95. It goes for about 140 bucks. It is one of the rarest things you get for PS2. Uh, probably in the top three or top five. And I think that's it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, have a good one and take it easy.